All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. This is going to be a quick tutorial for those of you who use OBS Open Broadcaster software in order to record your video games and other such stuff going on on your computer. And what we're going to cover today is how to get multiple video audio outputs into one audio file so that you can individually edit them independently of one another without having to screw around like with other programs, just do it natively in OBS. And what that's going to end up looking like is when you have a file, you'll have, let me just zoom in here in my Premiere Pro, I'll unlink these. So basically you'll have a few different audio tracks. This one is my microphone audio. This one is the games audio. And down here is the audio for my co-host that I was playing with when I was doing Sky Saga. And so in order to create this effect, you're going to have to turn on the multiple tracks of audio that are enabled inside of OBS. So let's just open OBS back up and go to settings and go to output. Make sure you're using the advanced recording and then you go in here to recording and what you want to use is the audio tracks. Now, you'll notice I have three tracks selected. This isn't just a case of select one to activate three at once. This is, I want to activate audio track one, I want to activate audio track two, and I want to activate audio track three, and you can actually name those over here. So this audio track one will be microphone, and you don't necessarily need to label these, but you can. And it's a good idea to have all of them up to the highest number for bitrate that they can go, because that means you will have the highest quality per audio track. So now track one, track two, and track three are all turned on because I enabled them in my recording here. And you can technically enable them in streaming, but streaming programs only really let you do like one audio track going up to the server at a time. So be a little bit careful when doing that for streaming, but I'm not gonna cover streaming, that's not really my shtick. So once you've got those enabled, press okay, and you're gonna have to do one more thing before this will correctly record to each of the audio tracks. So by default, whenever you add an item to your audio source list, it will try to record itself to every last one of the audio tracks that is available. So in order to Avoid that, you simply uncheck all of them for each audio device and then only send check each one of these sources to the source that you want it to. So for my first track, I want that to be my microphone. My second track, I'd like to be my desktop audio. And my third track, which is my second desktop audio device, I'm going to want to be my co-host. So he's going to be on number three. So each one of these, you only want each of these tracks used once or only checked once, so double check that. And every time you add a new audio source to your list, it'll add another one in this mixer, and the mixer is just this button right here above your audio tracks. And you wanna make sure that it's not writing to every audio track or else you won't be able to easily separate out your audio. So I'll just say, okay, that's great. And now when I record, I'll start recording. Zip zap doo ba doo boo ba doo boop boop ba doo boop boo doo doo. Actually, let me just turn on my game capture. Let me record like a specific window. And I'll make this really big. And then I'll stop the recording. And then I'll just import. Let's see here. Um, OBS. And we'll go to. Where is this going? This is going to Tutorials 3. And we'll just import this most recent one. And now you can see we have, oh, it only gave me one track. Now that's a problem. Let's find out why it did that. Let's go back over here. You see there's three different audio devices. These are all setting to different audio sources. And in my output under recording, I have all three of these selected. So let's try this again. Zip up be ba doop boo ba doop boop boop ba doop boop ba doop boo. All right, now we can import another one. This one right here. 
And this should have all three of my... Audio oh, wait, I know what the problem was. I had them all expanded so they didn't all show up. There's the issue. So as you can see right here, now I have three audio tracks. I have my microphone track, and then I have my Dark Souls 3 audio track, which is my traditional game for previewing OBS since my original tutorial for the original OBS. And I can now see this is just my audio from my microphone, and this is just the audio from the background. And I can open this up in Adobe Audition, which will allow me to very quickly edit that for use out in the wide wibbling world. I can run this through my preset, which you can find available on the channel. And now my, uh, my voice is level, it has been trimmed, the background noise has been removed, and it's ready to go off to YouTube. And it's just that easy. So if you guys got any questions out there on how you separate your audio or how this works for me to clarify, go ahead and ask those questions in the comments below. But it's actually pretty simple. And then once you've got it open in the editor, you can then manually adjust all the sound levels. And this is really nice so that you don't have to constantly fuck around with testing. Like, is the audio level okay? When you're doing stuff for local recording, it's really easy, especially when you use a video editor, to just throw that stuff in there, make all the adjustments, and then export it and you've got a template that you can then apply to all the other video types from that game. Isn't that just the handiest thing? So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you separate out audio tracks in OBS Studio Edition. I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course, suggest topics for future videos, and I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Toodles, everybody, and have a good one.